The bots are dropped. Let the chaos begin. Hello, everyone. My name is James. This is Decoherence. It is a tactical sci-fi shooter thing. Ugh, I'm nearly dead already. Uh, currently available on iPhone and iPad, and it is a really interesting, if quite tough and challenging, game. So. I've completed the tutorial and I've played a couple of these like skirmish matches. I'm currently playing the AI. It is a PvP game and holy cow, it's really quite difficult. Although I've smashed through this guy. That was satisfying. So it takes place over about three or four stages of setup. You have to choose the bots you want to use and then you have to give those bots power-ups and then once the bots have power-ups, you have to tell them what you want them to do. So certain bots can do certain things. You can fire ones that are exclusively turrets, so they just blast their way out into the environment. Ooh, my, my massive thing is charged, let me just run back up here, because I've got a mech in the top left-hand corner. I'm just going to hop into him. Now, it's really on. Let's take out this guy. Once you've chosen the bots, you choose the power-ups. Once you've chosen the power-ups, you can tell them what to do over a series of different commands. If I can just get this guy around here. Yes! Opponent KO. Nice. You can, like, say, you go and attack this dude here, then this dude here, then this dude here. You literally draw it onto the screen in a series of little lines. I've just beaten this guy 3-2. Oh, God. I didn't think I was going to win that, I'm going to be honest. It's quite challenging. I've seen some reviews on the App Store, and it's got quite mixed responses. And I don't know if that's because it is sort of quite technical and specific when you first start playing. It can be a little bit, like, off-putting because you've got a lot to take care of. So say, for example, let's start at the beginning here. I've got a beginner squad. I've got that dude I just chose as my captain. Now I get a chance to start placing it. So here is the battlefield. I can look at my bots. Now you have to remember what all of these mean because they're represented by little dragons and stuff like that rather than blaster or something, which might be easier to understand. In each one, you can choose to be a buggy, a hovercraft, a tank, or a station. And each of those chooses the maneuverability versus the strength and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to make this guy a buggy, drag him out onto the field, drop him here. I can also take control of each of the bots. And so I can actually hop inside them and control them individually, as well as just leaving them to their own devices or programming them to do the thing I want them to do. So this little Viper dude, he's a blaster. I want, I want the flying one. Where's the flying one? No, 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 no. There is a good buggy which you can just... See, you can, that one I can't be a hovercraft. Mm, it's not letting me do it. All right, well, I'll drop this guy down, let's say, here. You can see at the top of the screen I've got a certain amount of kilowatts to spend, so that means I'm limited as to what I can purchase. I'm going to drop some microbots here, which are just a mere 5 kilowatts, and that's it. That's the first round of this. Each round you get more money to spend. I'm not done yet because I need to put power-ups on. I'm going to give this guy a shield. Only one power-up per dude. I'm going to make this dude aggressive. My captain's at the very back. Pilot is ready to go. I'm going to select frag grenades. That'll do me. And I'm going to hold ready. And here we go. So I immediately take control of my person. I don't know if this guy is a turret. Let me see if I can move them. I can't. It's just a turret. Nuts. Okay. I am covered if they come for me. But, oh, no, my dude's immediately been taken out. Send in the microbots. Also, send in the frag grenades. Because I've got a couple of hit points and that's it. Let me tr I'm going to have to wait for that to charge up again. Go on, send the microbots in. <laughs> I'm going to wait for the... If I step out there, I'm going to get immediately burned. So, let's just pop that there. Bosh. Nice! Although that dude's come running for me. Let's back up and see if I can take them out. Ah, oh, they had a lot more health than me. That was never going to end well. But you get the general idea of how it works. Red wins in that instance, but I've got two more rounds to try and take this guy down. We're not over yet. We're not done Though this time you'll see more kilowatts, I get to keep the craft that I have on the screen and then drop a whole bunch more down. So let's say I want to try this laser blaster out. I can crack the laser down and then put it, let's say, there. That's a turret that's going to sit there and protect. I've got 40 kilowatts left, so let us get... Mm, that's a reflector, I don't really want to use that. The healer is quite good, for obvious reasons. I want it to be a hover. There we go. Actually, no, let's make it a buggy. Fast and lightweight. Nice. So I'm going to grab that, put that here, I'm going to stick it right next to my dude. And then, if I want to, I can say, look, you attack this guy. See? I just dragged it out. You focus on this dude. Done. The little microbots, I think they can do their own thing. You can also press and hold on each one, uh, and you get a series of like additional maneuvers you can do for them sometimes. Not working at the minute, but I'm sure I can do it. Let's go to the power-ups. I'm going to power up you with... One of those, that'll do nicely. Let's go ready, and now, 
first thing I'm going to do is hop into this guy down here. As you can see, there we go. If I just jump in, brilliant. Now I have control. And I can run out into the world and start hacking people. This is an up close and personal type deal. So let's get this out of the way. And go ahead, hack him, hack him, hack him. I'm trying to hack down this barrier. Once the barrier's down, I can cross. Yes, there we go. Took out my craft, but it was kind of worth it. Now, I just want to avoid being taken out. I've got to protect my commander at all costs. Love grenade. Oh, that grenade did it for him, but now the commander is out in force. I'm going to come over here and hide by my dudes. Because this guy ain't going to be able to take me down from there. Ooh, now we've got a stalemate on. Right, let's see if I can shoot these from afar. Yikes! Yeah, that was maybe a little bit foolhardy. I'm going to go over here and launch a grenade or two. It's the same game as before, where I'm playing a little bit of stalemate, but it's better that than getting immediately smashed by the opponent, because he's just on his own, wandering around. If I can just take him out... Nice! What are you going to do now, boy? He's jumped into <laughs> the other end. Ugh, what a hack. Hang on, doesn't matter, I can take this guy out. I'm assuming... Yes! You can do nothing from over there. He loaded. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Match ends in 30 seconds. Quick, 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 quick. Got a win on points. Brilliant. Now he's down, and I've only got this guy at the bottom. Go on, come and get me. Come and get me. Come on, buddy. Leave him there to get absolutely murked by my dudes. Yikes. I'm going to grab one of these and launch it. Go. Oh, no. Completely the wrong place. Yeah. Yikes. Get this guy. Get him, get him, get him. And the time is up. I don't know who won that. Who won it? I won it. I'll take it. It's a hollow victory, but I don't care. So, Decoherence, currently available for iPhone and iPad via the Apple Arcade. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based fantasy RPG featuring hundreds of champions from 16 playable factions. It's one of the top three ranked RPGs on the App Store and has been nominated for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award and has netted almost 15 million downloads in the last six months. This dark fantasy adventure is a turn-based hero collection game with over 400 champions to collect and customize. Get tons of free champions, equipment, and other stuff just for learning to play via progress missions, and complete them all to get one of the best legendary champions, the Arbiter. The game is always growing, with numerous plans for updates over the next six months. Plus, click the links in the video description and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey.